what's up this is Ghost Space Reviews back with another video review as always and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at this mask right here this is the Trick or Treat Studios Nightbreed Dr. Decker mask replica and it's a really really cool mask it's one mask that I've wanted in my collection for such a long time now probably around two years um, I love the mask and I love the movie Nightbreed so for those of you that haven't seen it definitely go check it out and let me know what you think either on my Instagram or through the comments of this video because I'm really stoked to hear what you guys think about this movie if you've never seen it before now, this is hands down one of my favourite masks out of any horror movie ever, and like I said, I've wanted it for such a long time, so it feels great to have finally track one down to be able to review for you guys and to have in my personal mask collection. Um, but in this video, we're just going to go into a few of the details about the mask. I'll give you some close-up shots, some worn shots, and then we'll discuss the mask um, itself. But yeah, guys, um, I hope you enjoy this review of the Trick or Treat Studios Dr. Decker mask. And yeah, if you have any questions about it, be sure to leave them in the comment section of the video down below. But other than that, I hope you enjoy this review, and I will catch you guys later on. Alright guys, so to start this review off, I just want to begin by saying what a phenomenal job Ross the sculptor of this mask from over at Trick or Treat Studios has done with it. I've actually been after for a accurate Dr. Decker mask uh, for quite a long time now for my collection, it's been around two years, and then when I found out that Trick or Treat Studios had actually made their own version of it, I decided to check it out, and after watching a couple of videos of it, um, I decided that it was a piece I definitely wanted to track down and add to my collection. Now I managed to actually score this mask for $59.95 um, at retail price, which is really, really cool. I've noticed that it does go out of stock quite frequently, um, and I'm glad I managed to pick it up for retail price. After um, shipping it, I think it came to about $64, so it's a really good price for such an accurate piece. Um, and for those of you wondering about the mask in the background there, it's actually the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 1974 Grandpa Mask. Now I'm going to be doing a review of that very soon too on the channel. Um, and for those of you following the Ghostface Reviews Instagram page, you'll actually know that I posted photos and behind the scenes shots wearing both of these masks last night. So if you're not following the channel Instagram, uh, be sure to do so for more behind the scenes shots and looks at scores that I buy that I don't actually want to make videos on, um, either because they're too small or something like that. But uh, yeah, if you're not following the channel page, be sure to do so. Um, we can also talk about masks on there and stuff like that through inbox and also discuss trades or you guys sending stuff in for Fan Mail Friday. But um, other than that guys, I'm going to get straight back into the review in just a sec and I hope you guys enjoy this video. So taking a look at the detail and the paintwork of the mask now guys, I've just actually been on the Trick or Treat Studios website to read up on the bio of the mask and it actually says on there that each of these masks were given a hand painted finish which is super super rad and it just uh, makes the mask have a more personal feel to it knowing that an artist has actually given your mask a hand painted finish which is super super cool especially for the price of $59.95. Now the detail on the mask is absolutely insane. All these creases and folds just make this mask look super, super creepy and unsettling. And I think that's the reason why I've always absolutely loved this piece. Um, the mask just affected me in the movie. I just, I've always found it super, super unsettling and disturbing looking. I think it's because you can't actually see the eyes or the face or any sort of expression um, due to the fact that it has a zipper for a mouth. Now on this mask I'm super super impressed because instead of having a latex moulded zip like most masks would have, this is actually a real zip, um, it kind of reminds me of Chris Fane's zip from Slipknot. Um, it's super super cool, I'll show you guys that in action later on in the video when I'm doing the worn shots of this mask, but that is something very very cool to find on a Trick or Treat Studios mask. Now just above the mouth we've actually got two nose holes just there and just there, and that's probably so to um, aid you sorry, uh, when you're breathing with the zipper closed because it does get quite um, hot in that mask considering the fact that it is a full head latex mask. Um, now the mask itself is actually very very thick and it's really really nice, really nice quality and as I said before with it being a full head mask it actually covers the whole neck too. Now you can tuck this into a t-shirt and it can hide your neck. I tried it before, um, I made this video and just tucked it into a t-shirt and it does look really, really good. Um, I'll show you guys it um, tucked in and untucked when I'm wearing a t-shirt at the end of this video just to give you guys all the one shots you need before considering purchasing this mask. Now there is only one downside to this mask and that is the fact that the eye holes are extremely difficult to see out of. Um, now Trick or Treat Studios obviously did this to 
uh, keep up with movie accuracy. Um, I'm really glad that they did this instead of making massive eye holes because it would have ruined the actual accuracy of the mask. Now, when you're wearing it, it's the best way to describe it is it's very, very, um, it's very, very hard to see, and it's just not really comfortable at all. Now, it's something to think about if you're actually considering buying this for a costume or some kind of cosplay of Dr. Decker. But for me, it's absolutely fine because as a mask collector, I'm just going to keep this on a... Probably just stuff the mask and keep it on display. And like I said, Nightbreed is one of my favourite horror movies of all time. So it doesn't bother me at all. But it's definitely something to consider if you're planning on buying this to make a fan film or something of that nature. Now, that's the only complaint I have with this mask at all. Um, like, I absolutely love this thing. This is one of my favourite masks that I've picked up in a long, long time. And so is the Grandpa Texas Chainsaw Massacre mask over there. So it's been a pretty good few days in the mail for me. Um, I'm just going to move on to the tag now. So, like with all Trick or Treat Studios masks, we have the individual uh, tag that just has either movie artwork or some kind of poster artwork from the movie itself. And this is pretty obviously a Nightbreed tag, because funnily enough, this is a Nightbreed mask. And then on there we've just got the Dr. Decker mask and another mask from the movie. And then we've got the bog standard Trick or Treat Studios tag with the name of the mask, the care instructions and the website address where you can buy more Trick or Treat Studios products. Now I'm just going to rotate the mask and I'll give you guys some shots of the back and show you how you put this mask on because it's pretty unique compared to most masks as it doesn't have a slit of the back to just pull on over your head. So I'll show you guys that in just a sec um, and yeah I'll be right back. So moving on to the back of the mask now guys, this is actually what I was just talking about when I was saying about the unique way that you put this mask on. Now most overhead masks actually have a split of the back uh, with the hole punch so the mask doesn't split any further. But this mask, being super movie accurate, has actually got the black lace that Dr. Decker does have in the movie. It's exactly the same it is on the screen use mask. And it's actually got these little eyelets that thread it through, just like on a shoe, or like a shoelace, sort of a type, uh, type tied to it. So once you put the mask on, it's very secure, doesn't wobble around or anything, and you can actually make this mask fit any head size due to the fact that it is fully adjustable. Just like the Leatherface Pretty Woman mask over there with the ties that that one comes with too. And then just down here we've got the stamp that just tells you that it was made in Mexico and it just says the mask is from 2014. So all in all guys it's an absolutely excellent mask. I'm a huge fan of this. Um, definitely one of my favourite masks I've added to my collection for a long long time. I'll just show you guys what it looks like from the side before I get into the close ups. And yeah hope you guys enjoyed this review please leave me a comment and a like um, and if you're new to my channel uh, please subscribe really really does help out and um, once we hit a hundred uh, sorry once we hit a thousand subscribers I'm gonna be doing a pretty huge giveaway I'm gonna be giving away any mask of anyone's choice from Trick or Treat Studios and then the runner-up will also receive a mask too so once we hit 1,000 subs, that's what's going to happen. I'll be running a contest and then drawing names out of a hat since we've been gaining subs quite quickly on the channel lately. Um, but other than that, guys, I just want to say thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.